be there for me too What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't know who I am, I am a Chelsea Chameleon and I'm back with another video. So as you can tell from the intro video, I'm going to show you guys how to make some really cute and super super cheap gifts for your sorority little. If you guys aren't in sororities or don't know what a little is, a little is like your little sister or like a younger member in the sorority that you kind of take on and be a mentor and just help guide her in the sorority and such. And if you don't know what a sorority is, it's basically just a college organization that is a part of a Greek association that does very social scholarship philanthropic events. I'm not going to go too much into detail about what a sorority is. You guys can look it up online if you don't know. But if you are in a sorority or if you do know where sororities are, you probably already know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and yes, I'm repping my sorority sweatshirt. This is Sigma Alpha and this is our little flower and one of our little symbols. I love this sweatshirt so much. I wear it like once a week. And sorry for the weird angle. Um, I know the sun is like right there, kind of blinding you in the corner but I want to show off my paddles right here um, these are all of the paddles that the bigs get in my sorority from their littles and I have three littles in total and I have twins and so these two are from my twins and then this one is from one of my old littles so yes I know sorority gifts and presents and all that stuff can get very expensive sometimes and I am in a non panhellenic sorority which means I am in a non social sorority um, we still have fun and stuff but we aren't as social I guess as regular sororities on campus but I know it's like a stigma or even pressure sometimes to buy really expensive gifts or really grand gifts for your littles during big little reveal or during any other sisterhood activities but I want you to know that it is totally okay getting your little something more affordable and cheaper and possibly cuter. I know everyone can afford Lily Pulitzer, Kate Spade, and all these other super expensive brands. You know, we may have to buy some stuff from Walmart sometimes, and it's okay. It's okay, no shame. <laughs> so yes, I'm showing you guys what I got for my littles for Big Little Reveal and Activation. If you guys don't know what Activation is, it's basically the little ceremony where the potential members finally become sisters of the sorority and we give them gifts for big little reveal and for activation so yes i'm going to show you guys how to make these gifts and you can tailor these for your own sorority or even for another greek organization that you're in so yeah before we get started be sure to give this video a thumbs up i want to do the sorority girl tag eventually maybe invite some of my other friends and sisters to be on my channel another one of my sisters and my best friend and my roommate jordan has already been on my channel we did the spicy noodle challenge I'll link it down below it's so hilarious <laughs> so yeah let me know if you want to see more sorority related videos I actually have my formal today and I'm going to be filming a get ready with me for that so stay tuned so yeah uh, like I said be sure to subscribe hit the notifications button and let's get started all right, so the first thing I'm going to be showing you guys how to make is this little football decal kind of shape thing. And I've already painted uh, little football symbols. And I'm just sticking my university stickers on there. I got them from a craft shop. And I'm just going to be writing my little names onto the wood shape. I'm just writing Katrina. And I'm also writing Heather's name on there. Those are my two littles, if you guys do not know, from the intro clip. And then I'm just going to paint over them just so their words or their names can stand out a little bit more. And yeah, I think these are really cute and unique. And you can cater these to your specific university or college or whatever. And it's really, really cute, especially like if your room has like college themed or whatever. It's just a really cute way to decorate something.
Yeah, we're pretty much done. They look so, so nice. And now we're going to make this DIY big little photo frame. And the first thing you're going to need is some construction paper that's decorated, a frame, some paper flowers. I got these from AC More for only a dollar, and then some scissors as well. And then I'm just using these sticker letters from the dollar store and I'm just going to be spelling out the word big and then little on the bottom of the um, paper. And then I'm just going to be using a sharpie to trace out the outline of the letters. And this is just going to make the letters stand out more in the photo frame. And now I'm just going to be cutting off a half a letter just to make a little apostrophe for the little letter. <laughs> and that's pretty much it for the lettering on this little photo frame. I'm just going to put a sticky note um, on there just so they can know what the frame is used for. I'm just writing insert cute photo of us here. Super, super cute. And then I'm just taking the clear photo frame. And I'm just going to stick it inside and now I'm just adding the paper flowers and I'm just going to put the paper flowers on the top of the corner of the frame just gluing them there really really pretty I feel like it really helps bring out the color of the letters and yeah you're pretty much done it looks super super cute and they can add a photo of us in there <laughs> Alright, so the third one is just a 3D decal letter. Um, I'm just using like a big wooden letter and I'm going to paint it and put decals on top of it. And I'm using these little letter board decals. I got these in my stationery haul. I'll link it down below. And then a glue gun. And then I'm just using paint. And if you want to know what color paint I'm using, I'm actually using Honeysuckle Pink, Tropic Orange, Key West, and then a white. And then I'm just going to be painting their letters. And I actually forgot some footage uh, from this. So excuse me and I'm sorry in advance. Um, I didn't get detailed footage of me painting and like making the lettering darker. Because I did eventually make it darker. But yeah, I'm just mixing the colors here. And now I'm painting Heather's letter. I'm painting the sides as well because Katrina's was blue so now I'm going to make the sides of hers pink and then I'm just gluing the decal on there but that's the only footage I have sorry <laughs> alright so the next one is the inspiration bottle and you're going to need some colored decorated cardstock paper and then I'm just writing a cute quote I just found this quote from Pinterest nothing too special <laughs> and I'm just going to cut it out into a square shape and then I'm going to be writing the second one as well I just think these quotes are really really cute and now I am just going to take a hole puncher and I'm just gonna hole punch the top and then I'm gonna take some ribbon as well and I got golden yellow because it matches the bottles and yeah I'm just gonna hole punch it And then I'm just going to loop my small ribbon through the hole and just tie it and just make sure that the knot is secure. And now I'm just taking my glass bottles. I got these from AC Moore as well. Most of my products I got from AC Moore. <laughs> and yeah, I like, really like the pineapple one. It's super cute. <laughs> and I'm just going to loop the string around. And in the front, I'm going to make sure that the ribbon kind of faces the front or, the, or that the bow faces the front. So it can look really, really pretty. <laughs> yeah, they're super, super cute. And I just added some pins in there, but you can add like candy or any other skinny gift. And for the next one, I'm just making a paper flower arrangement. I'm just taking this vase from AC Moore 
and then I'm taking this crepe paper flower kit from AC Moore as well um, a lot of these products like I said I got from AC Moore and it's basically like your own DIY flowers um, you can just put fake flowers but I just thought this would be really cute and it's kind of like you made it your own and I'm just straightening the little flower wire and I am just going to follow the instructions and attach all the pieces and parts together so I'm just taking this nail thing and you want to separate the flower sizes so you can make the individual flowers and I'm just sticking the nail thing through the um, flowers <laughs> making sure it's even alrighty and now I'm just gonna take the little stem peg and then stick it throughout the nail and push it all the way to the top and then I'm just going to take the sealer and just kind of like seal it in so I can put my stem in. And now I'm just going to stick my stem in the little hole and just make sure it's secure. And that's pretty much it. You have your little cute flowers. <laughs> And uh, once you combine them in a vase, they look really cute. I just added a little wire, a little twine wire thing. <laughs> and I don't know, it just looks really, really cute. Perfect like on your desk or something. And next we're gonna make this felt tack board that your little could hang on her wall. I'm just using this felt uh, heart. I got this for like 10 cents. <laughs> and then um, a hole puncher and I'm just going to hole punch the top round parts of the heart I'm just creating a small hole and then I'm just going to be taking ribbon I'm just using UT colors orange and white because I want it to be UT themed as well I just added this little index card with our Tennessee sticker and just put there's nothing I'd rather be than a Sigma Alpha in Tennessee and it's super cute and the last thing is going to be this memory photo book I'm just taking this really small album from AC Moore and I'm just taking some gold stickers, but I only use the hearts and then I just wrote Sigma Alpha Memories. This takes like five seconds, but it's super, super cute. <laughs> All right, and then I made these little canvases. Um, I didn't really do a DIY on them. I just wrote the words and found the quotes on Pinterest. And then I'm getting my little a face mask, I know I love face mask, <laughs> and then some really cute luggage tags from Rue 21. And also I just got them these iron-on transfers, they can put them on a shirt or a bag or anything. And then this is what their basket looked like for Big Little Reveal. I just put the ribbon on it, kind of like a little purse. <laughs> And yeah, these are just a little montage of things that I got for them. Big Little Reveal is a smaller uh, gift kind of day <laughs> uh, activation. We give them more gifts. And then this is the stuff I got them for activation. They got shirts. And then I just made this little mini canvas that says Sigma Alpha. I just bought them a little notepad. There's the letter. And then I just made them some canvases. This one says, Emily's and Mom's Boots and Bulls. That's what makes me a Sigma Alpha girl. <laughs> I love that quote. And then I got them this little orange pom-pom. It's like R-U-T, go big orange. And then I got them a little water bottle. And then there's their flowers. So yeah, guys, that is it for the DIYs. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed all these really cute and easy DIY gifts. Be sure to like this video so I can know to make more. I love doing DIY videos and I love kind of making original content like this. I don't want to see that many girls make DIY gifts, especially with sorority related gifts. So I just think it's a really cool kind of genre to get into on YouTube. <laughs> and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me in general. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Stay colorful. Bye-bye. But you gotta be there for me too.